Yeah, it, uh, I love coming back. Love the people. Love the university. Um, love doing this right here. I mean, this building is unbelievable. I haven't been in this building. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, it's beautiful. Talk about today. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of emotions, and yeah. you probably knew coming in that that was oh, yeah. what it was going to be yeah, like. No, that's, but that's great. That's yeah. how it should be. Well, it's an emotional game, uh, and then the people you that you're lucky enough to get close to, um, you end up loving, and they they affect your life, especially when you start off with them when you're really young, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then you get to really old where I'm at now. <laughs> um, so there, you do have those emotions and those experiences, and and uh, what's neat about it is you get to share that. And then other people get to really feel what's real, and uh, I think that's a, that's important and, and things that can help other people. The the patch you've got on your sleeve there, the BYU is going to have on their jerseys. Yes. I mean, I don't know. I mean, the stadium's named after named after Coach. It's you know mm -hmm. they're they're recognizing him that way. Yeah. I don't know if there's any way you can do enough to recognize someone who built a legacy like he did, but still a pretty cool gesture. No, it's unbelievable. I mean, they got the nose right on it too. <laughs> Uh, I don't nose, know if they've got the scowl, though. No, the nose is perfect, though. That's perfect. <laughs> he, uh, listen, I mean, he'd be proud of all of it. He wouldn't want any of it. No. Um, and, and that's what makes it probably so unique. Um, but he'll be looking at all of us from above and keeping an eye on everything, um, even though he probably doesn't have time to do that. He's, gonna, he's busy up there right now. But, but uh, you know, he'd be proud of all the, all the guys and, and he's most of all this university. He'd probably be cracking some jokes. He probably has been tr cracking some jokes while all of this has been going well, on. Well, yeah, had I, time for you it. know, I, I, I want to believe that he's coaching, um, <laughs> uh, you know, a little football. And so, uh, <clears throat> but he uh, he had a great sense of humor for sure. And I don't think I'll ever leave him. And I can't wait to get back to see, see it and hear it again. Mm -hmm. You, you touched on this during the show, but I wanted to ask about yeah. Patty's influence just on the, you know, I, I've gotten to know Patty a little bit yeah. over the years yeah. and the, the influence she has with coaches' wives, and you mentioned it with your wife, yeah. just that, that impact. Well, it's a crazy profession that takes a lot of time, believe it or not. Uh, you'd think Shocking. we were flying you know, rockets <laughs> to the moon, but um, with all the time we spend doing it. So to have a family... Um, and to raise a family, you, you always hear about you got to have a good wife. So behind every good coach, there's a good wife, <clears throat> in particular ones that have children. So um, Sister Edwards was a phenomenal teacher to my wife um, of doing doing that job. And my wife's been able to carry that on and teach other wives. So it's kind of neat to see. Um, but she was strong. She has an opinion. Um, she understood and respected the craziness of the game. And um, and was a real strength to coach. I know. And I wondered you touched on it, but just the 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 coaching tree legacy we're honoring of Lavelle, in a way the Patty's got her own legacy, I guess, with the coaches' wives that maybe no, we don't does, recognize no. that so much. Well, she taught so many, exactly. and uh, was such a good example of so many. And there's that whole underworld there of the wives, and to to start uh, the women's association for the, you know college coaches' wives and to make them feel a part of it. Sometimes they go to these things, they don't know anybody. They're sitting around the hotel room or they go shopping, but they're not involved with what we're really involved with. And she said, "No, we're gonna we're gonna introduce this to the wives and let them feel a part of it. And uh, they're here, and and let's let's teach them and and let them understand." And they'll be they'll be even better wives for it. So many people around here, and we'll let you get back to your things in, in a minute, I promise. But, but with so many people, so many different kind of branches of that Lavelle tree, I guess. Uh, is there anything that kind of sticks with all of you guys that sort of came came of age coaching wise under him that that kind of still continues to this day? Yeah, is there something that kind of binds you guys together, coaching wise? I probably tell you it's the intangible things that we learned. Um, uh, that you can be a good person and still coach. You don't have to yell, scream, and use profanity. Um, you can, you can. You're a teacher. You're truly here. If you take the principles of the church, we're here to be teachers. You can truly incorporate that into coaching, and uh, and still have success doing it. So, I, I think that's probably the thing that we've all taken with us in our different. You know, ventures. So much more than just schemes and schematics and offenses. Yeah, anybody can learn that. Anybody can learn the schemes, uh, given enough time. Uh, but everybody can't be a great teacher. So that's uh, 
the ability to communicate and know people, have some people skill, I think is important. Hey, thank you.